In this video we'll be looking at the baby to do or not to do challenge which is a web challenge on Hack the Box and the difficulty is ranked as easy. The description says I'm so done with these bloody HR solutions coming from these bloody HR specialists I don't need anyone monitoring my thoughts or do I? So let's start the instance. We also have some files we can download here. Let's uh, have a look see what we've got. Okay, so it actually gives us access to some files here. Um, it actually gives us access to the code to review. I'm not going to review that. I'm just going to see if we can solve this just from looking at this site. Because whenever I solved it, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even notice you could download the code actually. Um, so if we go to the site we have this to do or not to do and we have um, somewhere here where we can add, let's view the source first of all so we don't have too much here, we've got this seek data secret value we have add task, the ability to add a task here we can have a look at the javascript and the, in the javascript there you can see we have the complete task and delete task and you can see what calls would be required here so if you send the delete or get request or delete request with this um, URL then um, you'll be able to delete tasks so and you can see it's sending off the secret value I guess to um, assign tasks to each user so let's uh, try and add a task here let's see uh, let's actually try and Add a task that's a script. And we get their server refused to process your to do task. Let's open up Burp Suite and let's add this to the scope and hide everything that's not in the scope. You can see here it's refreshing, it's grabbing us the list of tasks on a regular basis. We have here our session cookie and it's using yeah, the secret value to do that. So if this was a shorter value you could potentially enumerate through users or values to try and get to try and see what tasks are, are there. Let's try and add a task and see just say hello. Successfully add a task and then we can hit complete I guess. To complete the task and then it's now completed and we can delete it as well. So let's um go back to our code here let's go back to the main the main uh, HTML code because we had this comment here saying don't use get status all until we until we get the verify integrity patched and we have here a script const update is equal to get tasks for our user and then it calls update on an interval of 3000 so that's the the get tasks that we're seeing and it's saying here don't use get, get status all so this is um, just JavaScript code let's go and see if we can use an F12 let's go to our console okay get status is not not defined so we're not going to be able to run that um, let's go back to the code get tasks so let's try and do get tasks for a user undefined okay um, it said here don't use get status all let's try and get status all oh sorry get tasks all and then you see it quickly flashed up with let's run that again quickly flashed up with some tasks and we can see here quickly a flag but not much time to grab it um, Okay, so the variable here, which is updating, is a const variable, and that's going to keep refreshing the page, getting the tasks for this user. Um, let's. What we could do is we could um, do like set interval. Copy this. It's probably not a good idea because it could really slow things down. But let's just to show that this would be a way to grab the flag and get tasks all and let's just put like a 
three. Uh, no, okay. Um, okay, so it's still getting overwritten pretty quickly with. <laughs> okay. Let's see then. Whenever we're making this request, the API list, what about if we just try to. Um, send to repeater. Are we able to just list all? Okay, just list all using our secret value here, and you can see we've got our flag. So that would just be as simple as running this, and that gives us access to the everybody's tasks. And there you can see we have our flag. So all that done without even looking at any of this code. There's no, I'm not going to bother going through it now. Um, I guess it could have been done easier with the code. Um, yeah, I don't know. All right, hope you've enjoyed this challenge. Um, any questions or comments, leave them down below.